I'm pretty excited about this video. Uh, this charter boat company called Fish Emeryville contacted me, told me that they watch my videos, and I'm local, and they're local. It would be a great idea if we joined forces, and I went on their boat, filmed a little bit for them, posted on my YouTube channel, and at the same time, I can share the experience with you. So the plan is to document the whole process of salmon fishing. That's what we'll be doing. I've never done it before myself, so it's all new to me. But I'm hoping that I'll be able to document it well enough so if you want to go out there, you can feel comfortable enough doing it by yourself. Tomorrow morning, we're going for salmon. Pacific wild salmon. And not only that, but at the end of the video, I'm going to cook it. And Andy told me that he's got some great recipes, how to keep it fresh, and everything that will just blow your mind. It should be that good. Wild Pacific salmon. Oh man, I can't even wait. My mouth is starting to water just thinking about it. Yeah, it's just a hook. Wire. Yeah. Wild hook, basically. It's pliable, right? So it's real. Okay. Alright, just threw the meat right there. Yep, right there and up. And just threw the mouth. Oh, okay. Put a slight bend to it to help the roll. And what is that thing? Like a little nail or something? Yeah, it's just a little uh, pin. Yeah. Rubber bag. Like that. It's just a little spring with that copper pin right in there. This little slot, open it up, and put your ball in there. And then, once you get a fish on there, you pull it and this drops it. So basically, once you get a salmon, you lose your weight. You lose your weight, um, but what hopefully, <laughs> land salmon. it and that five dollar weight becomes a two hundred dollar fish. You know? Yeah, for sure. What you have is this. This is what you have. You don't, again, you don't want to be swinging it around. All you gotta do is hang it out the back, okay? Once you kick it out of gear, that thing's gonna spin. Two and a half pounds. If you don't have your thumb on that spool, it's gonna be backlash, big time. One foot at a time, guys. If we say, hey, you're going down 25 feet, 25, 25, okay? 25 poles. That gets you down 25, 25 feet of line is what we want you to let out. Everyone will stagger it, 25, 30, 35, 40. The guys off the stern will be running 60 to you know, 55 to 60 feet off the stern. We'll come around and, and set everything up. The first few drops, or if you want, we'll do it the whole day for you guys, okay? When, the, when we have a fish on the bow, all we need you to do is stand back. Don't lean on the rail, don't try to run ahead of them. Just stand back like this, because they're gonna work their rods under or over your line. They just wanna run down here, okay? Everyone the same thing. When we get to the back here, back here, you guys, you guys gotta put, we're gonna get your rod holders out because everything's gonna be fought here. What we like you to do is to hold your rod tip down like that. Scoot over, we're gonna say scoot to the left or the right. If you don't have a fish on, if it's not you fighting the fish, don't crowd around us. Just, you can see from a distance, but it's just, those fish shoot from left to right. Don't run across the stern like they were yesterday. When we hook a fish, man your rod. That's all, the last thing we need is, you need to grab a net, guy has a fish in the corner. There's no one here watching rods that we don't want to lose a fish to a tangle. All right, guys, thank you. So we're all rigged up now. We're in about 40, 50 feet of water in the back. People in the front are about 20 feet, so they drop down 20 feet, and as you go down in the back, it's like five feet deeper, five feet deeper, until you get to the back, so it's 40 feet, so you don't get your lines all tangled. So flip the switch. Now it's basically a free spool, so you got to hold it with your thumb and you let it down however many depths. So I'm going down about 30 feet. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Most of these conventional reels on a boat like this will have this clicker. So when, you, when you're away from your pole, pull it out and it'll click so you'll hear it. It's kind of like a bell, you'll get notified, you know? And then if you're reeling in and you don't want to hear that click anymore, just flip it up and it won't click anymore. Just something else to get used to when you're on a boat. Oh, oh there he is! Yeah! Fish on! Yeah, buddy! Nice. Yeah! Boom! Oh! Let him 
again. There we go. All right. <laughs> don't, pull, don't pull up when you need Yeah. Nothing. All right. And the giant I'll take him, man. <laughs> All right. Thank you, brother. Fish in the boat. <laughs> Number uh, three for yeah, that buddy. guy. Thanks, man. about as fast as we can and then on this on this particular boat you know we don't pack them on ice other boats they just put them in a box yeah and pour some water but we have excuse me sir can you get in here let's see we have running water all so it's constantly flowing it's not going to be sitting in blood water or right possibly more new salt water is coming into the system just like that nice and clean yeah. Nice and cool and fresh. That's a nice haul of fish there. Fish on! Uh oh. Uh oh. Mark, 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 there's you, Matt. That's you. Yeah. yeah! Right out the middle. Fast, wind fast, wind fast, 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 fast. Don't lift it up, just wind it fast. He's charging it. Wind, 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 wind. Keep winding, keep winding, keep winding. You gotta keep that rod band. Keep the tension on it. down all the way to that yeah. you can back here and you, and you want to lift so what did i do wrong at the end did i do anything no, or is this no, that's fish, how it happened the fish came up but what you want to do is try to wind he was a hot fish i mean the fish was coming in so fast see how he charged you yeah. they call it hot fish that's why you never want to i tell you guys don't fight with your rods like that because when you ride like that once he gets that little bit of you like to fight yeah 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 so now, most fish you don't but these fish you want to because when they charge you you're done and shit if you got them every time and be a special, man. True. True. Pull me out your video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you really got to keep that pull down, huh? Keep tension on it. Keep, it keep down, that rod tip down. Kind of sideways if you want, you know. I'm just so used to surf fishing, you know, where you just you, you keep it up or like tra up, or yeah. trout or yeah, trout, yeah. keep it above the water. I stick and get them up. No, these yeah, ones, these ones you got to keep it low, huh? Keep it low, keep it bent. So when they make that run towards the boat, though, you got to yeah. reel as fast as you can. Rank, 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 reel up, reel up. Reel these up. barbless hooks too. Yeah, they'll, they'll fall out. Got a double right here. Yeah, two right here. Oh, right here, right here, right here. Oh, I thought we got another one. Can come over me? Keep going, keep going, keep going. Step up the rail, Ray. Right here. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Good number. Good place. Good place. Go, go, go. There you go, perfect. channel it's like oh, oh shit Ray 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 grab this rod Ray came in a lot easier <laughs> so yeah it's really just getting out here you know you're gonna make mistakes when you if you're just starting so just get the experience it'll get easier in time you'll learn if you're doing something wrong the deckhands they'll tell you what to do right so 
Next time you catch a fish, just build on that. Eventually, you'll put all the pieces of the puzzle together and you'll be able to land those fish the better majority of the average. So if you get a little bit tired when you're on the boat, you've got this interior, you know, sit down, relax if you want to. If you get seasick and you just can't stand it out there anymore, you can come in here and just lay down. But it's a nice boat. on shore at the picnic tables and I was just talking to Andy he was telling us so anybody who catches fish it's like if you went to the supermarket and you bought $150 worth of groceries and fish and stuff you would take care of it when you went home so it's, think of it in the same way you're paying about $100 to go on these charter boats and you're getting this product salmon so when you go home you want to take care of it so the proper way to do it is once you get the meat put it on ice as fast as you can if you fillet it, the deckhands will help you. And then once you get home, you can cut it into portion size servings. And if you want to freeze it, freeze it. Freeze it as fast as possible. And when you're ready to cook it, let it thaw off as slow as possible. So just leave it in the counter on your kitchen table and let it thaw off until it's room temperature. And when it comes to cooking, you don't want to overcook it. That's probably the most common way that people ruin fresh fish that they catch. So you want to just cook it until it loses that opaque kind of transparent color that fish has and just so it starts to flake and that will be perfect. So this salmon is full of fat. We don't need much seasoning at all. All I got is some butter, some salt, pepper, garlic, and a little bit of lemon. So I've got this portable grill. So we're going to throw some coals in here. So my buddy JP works at Outdoor Pro Shop. He's going to help us fillet the fish right now. If you guys ever stop by Outdoor Pro Shop in Rohnert Park, actually Kotati more specifically, say what's up to JP. And uh, yeah, tell him you saw him in one of these videos. Look at that meat though. Woohoo! Yeah. That be eating good here, man. I'll keep the skin on. And we're also going to try some sashimi style. So we're going to cut a thin slice, hold it up, look into the sun like you're looking for a counterfeit dollar bill and if it doesn't have any worms or parasites then we'll eat it but i think salmon aren't known for that as much as rockfish so we should be okay raw salmon sushi a little lemon yeah throw a little on there all right, bro. All right cheers brother cheers. let's do a good day of fishing that's fresh mm. definitely different from the sushi restaurant you know yeah, it doesn't have that texture that sticks together as much mm -hmm. as the restaurant. Yeah, it's real tender. Yeah, it's really almost mushy. I would yeah, say. It's yeah, almost yeah, mushy. It's almost mushy. I think it's just all that fat in there. Yeah, I mean, I would eat this though. It's not bad no, at all. No, it's good, man. It's not too much fresher than that. Mm -hmm. I'll just squeeze, squeeze a little on here. That's good. Oh yeah. Whoa. Oh. Now that looks perfect. That smells so good. That smells so good. <laughs> I think he's done. I think so, man. Yeah. This is oh, it's, it's perfect. Perfect, dude. Ooh, it's hot. It's hot. Mm. Whoa, dude. Whoa, that's killer. It's got so much flavor between the flakes, too. Taste that. Mm. It was right. Don't overcook it. It's way better. Little belly meat here. Oh my God, I gotta trust him. Ooh, so, damn, that's so good. Oh, dude, the belly. You can taste that fat? Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, there's so much more flavor to the belly. You're not gonna eat the skin? Mm -hmm. No, that's all you do. All right, the skin. Let's see how the skin tastes. Damn. It's like a piece of bacon. 
<laughs> when I took the first bite, I wanted to get the camera to get that money shot, but I can't leave the salmon. It's so good. <laughs> right? Maybe I should have cut some bigger pieces off. You know, this thing was fighting about know, three or four hours ago. Yeah, it's crazy. This thing was alive. Thank you, Mr. Salmon. Yeah. Right on top of the coals, five minutes on each side. It turned out like this. Yeah, this really is almost like a medium rare. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at this. Mm. JP killed his already. <laughs> I was hungry. <laughs> Let's look how moist this is. It's like really like a medium rare. Just right when it turns non-translucent, that's when you want to eat it. And that's when you want to that's when you want to take it off the grill. Look at that fatty skin too. That's that's one of the best parts for me actually. You don't even need to scale it, huh? No. No scales. No. Just come right off. So if you ever want to go salmon fishing, check out Fish Emeryville. Their website is really easy to book a trip. You can book your parking, you can get rental gear, you can get tackle kits all online. The deckhands will take care of you. And even if you don't catch fish, like today for instance, there were some people that didn't catch any fish, but everybody went home with the fish because the limit is two per person. There were 17 people on, on the boat, so we could have 34 fish per boat. So some people caught four, some people caught five, some people didn't catch any. So at the end, anybody who caught more than their limit, we just spread the extras out. Yeah, everybody went home. Everybody, I'm sure everybody's happy with that trip.